In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add up images into our Xscale labels. So let's start look how to add the images on the Xscale here. First of all, make sure you get the border template, which you can find here on chargeS3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to join and support my channel, check out my Patreon page here where you have access to many source codes. And of course, we have a Discord channel, join. All right, what we're going to do now is create the items here. To do this, I will have to add up an image here. So I have an image ready. I already downloaded it and stored on my uh, desktop. So what I recommend you to do that as well or get any image you want. So now I have this image here. And what we're going to do is if you want to put it here down, what I want is, and this could be done with multiple images as well, in this data set, I'm going to indicate here, put a comma, and I'm going to put in here just images. And in this here, we're going to make this an array, and we'll make sure that we get the source code of that image. In this case, I'll just grab this one and paste it in here seven times. This, of course, is a string value, so we're going to do it like that. We're going to copy that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remove the last comma, save, refresh. So we're allowed to do this because this is still just JavaScript. And it's just another namespace in an object. All right. So we have this here now. Now we want to make sure that the logo will be pasted in here. So to do this, I need to create an array here. Or sorry, not an array. I need to put a comma here. I'm going to make here a all put in plugins and create an array. And we can say here the X scale image plugin. Let's copy that. Then I'm going to say here, the plugin block constant execute image equals ID will be that. And then we're going to say when would you like to draw this? In this case, I'm going to draw this after the data sets. After data sets draw, there's a chart, arcs, and plugin options. And then in here, we're going to start working on uh, the items. So because we want to draw on the canvas, we need to do an object destructuring. You can say object destructuring here, or we're going to do this. And this is basically an object destructuring. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, the link is in the description box. We want the CTX because I want to draw on the canvas. Secondly, I would like to have the data because I want to access this images array. And then what we will have more is probably, I'm not sure, the chart area. Maybe we can even skip that one for the bottom i think we don't even need that one but just be sure and then finally we have the scales and i want specifically the x scale because i need to make sure we have the position of these exactly in the center so once we have this the next thing i'm going to say is ctx.save to save all variables above and now let's start to work on it so first of all let me show you exactly how we're going to get this image here so if i do here console log and then we can say here the data because we have this object here. And then so basically that refers to here data, data sets, index zero because we have the first data set here. And then we can say here dot images because it is this one here. If I save this, refresh, open up the developer tab, you can see here we get the full size of it. And the array is a lengthy array with all the images here. All right, so this works. So what I want to do with this, I want to loop through this because I want to have all these images in here. So what I'm going to say here, uh, not constant, but I'm going to say this dot images and then I say dot for each loop. So for every item, so for every, so I'm going to say here, for every image, we have the index as well, function arrow expression. And then within here, oh, make sure we have that like that. All right. So within here, we're going to start working. So what I want to do here is first of all, say constant, and we can call it our label. And the label is basically the new image. So the new image object. We're not allowed. To. So we're not allowed to use anything else. So we want to make sure we have it like this because we first have to convert this into an image. So JavaScript understand we're having here an image item. So then what I want to do here is get this label and give it the source that we want. And what is the source? Well, you guessed it, that's this one here. Since we have an array here, we can grab here this image source. So once we did that, 
Now we can start to draw the image. I'm going to say ctx.draw image. This is a command. And then we're going to put in here the label name, which is basically the image or the image source. Then we're going to put in here, or well, not even image, or this is the image object. That's the label. Then we have here the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and then we can say here even the width and height of the image. So by default, it will grab the standard of it. We can do it like this. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm going to say this will be 10 by 10, and let's see if we get a image at all. All right, and as you can see here, I don't see the image yet. Let me double check. And of course, the reason for this is, this is very important. You have to hide your console log, so then it will work nicely. Somehow it refreshes and does something. So what I want to do, make sure, what I want to do or make sure of is going, pushing it down here. And of course, controlling the size. So let's say here, I want maybe 20, 20. And as you can see here, now it gets smaller. So let's start to work on giving it a proper size. So I'm going to say here, constant width will be um let's say uh 40 pixels or something like that we can just see or maybe 30 pixels so i'll just put in that in here now as you can see that works nicely let's push this down in here so now to get this i need to go to the very uh to index here of this one i need to get that position for that we're going to say x dot get pixel for the value and this is a built-in chart yes functionality and you can just grab the index here if i save that because we have this index here save that refresh there we are now let's push that down so what i'm going to do next and once we have this one here i want to push it down here and we can do this very easily with saying x dot bottom because it will calculate the bottom here or sorry not x dot bottom the top of the scale and the reason why is the top this is the bottom here down but the top is this part here so if i save that refresh there you are you can see here now it starts to work nicely let's move this a bit more to the left to do that we have this but this here calculates the position and what i want to do is i want to de uh, deduct that by the width but only 50 percent of the width so we have only a little bit or half of this image to the left side. There we are. So if you look very carefully, you might still see the label. Let's hide the label. We can do a few tricks here. I'll just use a simple trick. I'm going to say yeah, X scale. And in the X scale, I'm going to say ticks. You could give, for example, the color transparent. What I will do to make sure it will not do anything of anything weird. I'm going to say here in the ticks, a callback. And within that callback here, you can say value uh, index and values and that should be like that of course this is a callback functionality and then within here i'm going to say return nothing if i save that refresh now you will not see anymore a label let me just cross check that by extending this label here you can see here it will not show but if i hide this uh, and of course I need to make sure I will hide this entirely there you are you can see now it's showing but then if I just do like this make it a blank return and then it's hidden and there we are we have our image and you can put in any image you want based on the array here just add them up and that's it